everyone. This is Dave the Logic Guy, tutorial number three, advanced tutorial of Two Not Touch, also known as known as Star Battle by Crazy Dad. And you can uh, enjoy more and more puzzles on crazydad.com, K-R-A-Z-Y-D-A-D.com with a K. Um, he has given me permission to do these tutorials, which I appreciate a lot. A lot. Okay, as I stammered through that, as you know the rules, we need two stars in each row, two stars in each column, and then two stars in each diagram. No star can uh, touch another star, can't be adjacent to it, uh, whether it's up or down or diagonally. And so we always, we always start looking for the uh, diagrams with the fewest amount of cells. And of course it's this one here, three cells, put a star there. Put a dot there and a star here. You can't put a star in the middle because it would be adjacent to either well, either one. So what does that do? It, it basically eliminates this row for further consideration. And then of course you have to put the dots around each star because you can't put a star adjacent to them. So interestingly, by doing that, we find that uh, for this diagram here, it has to, the stars have to go above here, and you need two of them, two to complete the diagram and two to complete the rows. So that would mean it would eliminate these cells here. And interestingly, this row has now been dedicated to um, this diagram, so we have to have two stars here. And by doing that, we don't know where the stars are going to go. We can eliminate these two cells for further consideration because two stars to complete the row two stars to complete the diagram. So there you go. All right, so far so good. Now we have uh, this, I like these uh, little um, four cell diagrams where you know that this cell here touches all of the others. So there's no way you could put a star here because if you put a star here, here, or here, it'd be adjacent to it. So interestingly, you can't put a star here or star here, neck, or both of them there. Uh, because they'd be adjacent, so logically, we have to put a star here. We don't know where the other star would go yet, but we will in a second. So if you eliminate that cell, that cell, that cell, and that cell, and then this column is now complete. So we've eliminated this, 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 and this. And interestingly enough, we only have one cell left for this diagram, so we have to put the star here. And then we have to put adjacent to the star a dot here, and a dot here. Okay, so we don't, oh yes we do know. Just by doing this work so far, we are now able to complete this diagram and complete this row. Again, star, dot, star. You can't put a star in the middle because it would be adjacent to this cell and that cell. So that row is now complete. We have to put a dot there because it's adjacent to it. And we've also now eliminated this column for further consideration, so dot, dot. Okay, now it gets a little trickier here, and I need a little bit more explaining here. As I mentioned in the other two puzzles, if you have four like that in a square, you can't have any two in this four by four, or two by two, because they'd be adjacent to each other. So we know that one square, or one star would be in one of these squares, but we don't know which one, and then we would know that the other star would be in either here or here, but we don't know which one. But what we do know is if a star goes here or here, it would be adjacent to this cell and this cell, so these are dots. So we've eliminated those two. Uh, here's another example, four squares. So you can only put one here, and the other, other star has to go either here or here, so we have eliminated this, okay? And by doing that, this diagram now has shrunk to four cells, as I mentioned in an earlier diagram. You can't put a star here because it touches here, here, and here. And you can't put a star now to here and here together because they'd be adjacent to each other. So we have to put the star here. Don't know which one here yet, but by doing this, we've eliminated this and we've eliminated that. Okay. Now here's a little, I guess a new strategy I haven't really talked about. It's when you see two by threes. And when you see two by threes, you know that the middle row has to be a dot because this cell here is adjacent to all the other ones. And this cell here is adjacent to all of the other ones. 
So you couldn't put a star here and you couldn't put a star there. So you know that you need one star here so you, and you just don't know which one. And so therefore, up above, you'd have to put the dots. Similarly, you'd have a star here or a star here. Um, you don't know where, but that would eliminate. Or we'd have to put dots on those two adjacent cells. Okay, Didn't get to solve it, but we would be able to eliminate some of the cells. Here we go. This has now made this one much easier. Again, we put a dot here because this particular cell touches here, here, and here. And we know that a star's got to be either here or here. And we know that the remaining star has to go here. So we now, guess what, eliminated this row. Makes it nice. Uh, and by doing that, we've been able to complete this diagram here. And so any cells adjacent to that star are going to be eliminated. Now look, now we have freed up this diagram for completion because of uh, all those other dots. And here we go. This diagram is done and this column is done. And now we've now uh, have the final two cells in this diagram. So there you go, star, star. And all the adjacent cells get eliminated, right? And it's also completed this column. So there you go. Now we've been able to, we're now able to solve this diagram and this row. Remember, we can't put a star in the middle. It has to be on the outsides. Star dot star. We're getting close. We got three rows done. We got this column done, this column done, that column done. What else do we got? Okay, this is a tricky concept here again. You got the four here. You can only put one star here, and the other star either has to go here or here, but we don't know which one. But we do know that uh, adjacent to this and this, we'd be eliminating this cell and now that cell and then also on the other side eliminate eliminate okay so what else have we learned well uh, anything else pop out right now well we do know that we need two stars in here to complete this column so if we need two stars to complete this column and we can only put two stars in the diagram we've now eliminated this cell and this cell I just don't know where the two stars are gonna go and look at, there you go. This, this column is now complete. Beautiful. We, again, we just don't know which, which uh, stars are going to go into which cells at this point. So what else is sticking out here? Uh, as I'm trying to go through it, we have a star that's either going to go here or here. Don't know which one yet. Um, we have two stars that go here. Do not know which one yet. And we also have a star that's either going to go here or here to complete this row, but we don't know which one. But we do know is that whatever star we put in, whether it's here or here, it's going to be adjacent to this and adjacent to that. So they need to have dots. Okay. So we just aren't sure which ones yet. Anything else popping out at me? Well, by just doing that, we are now able to complete this column right here. There you go. And then that adjacent cell there. So now we have three columns here. We have uh, a row here, ah, and here we go. Another row can now be complete, star, and then adjacent to that here. And there's only one cell left to complete this diagram, and it's right here. And by doing that, we're able to complete that column. Wait, we are making progress, okay? Making big time progress. And then what we have left, we got row, row, row. Ah, there you go, right there, another row. We have to eliminate this one next to it. And so we, we have all of these rows complete. Column, column, column. And we have to put a star here or here. Just don't know which one yet. What else can we do here? And we also know that we have a star that's got to go here or here. So we have a total of four cells left. Something's got to be popping out at me. I'm missing something. I know it. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Sometimes it's just something adjacent. There you go. It's adjacent to a star that I missed, and it's right here. Diag diagonal ones. I always seem to miss those. So that eliminates that, and that only means we can only put the star here. So this column is now complete. Beautiful. And that makes that row complete. Dot. And here we go. This should do it. Yay. 13 minutes. That's a long time. Sorry about that, but we're, we're done. Uh, come back. 
send me comments, subscribe. Let me know your uh, questions. You can email me at DaveTheLogicGuy at gmail.com.